Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm in the studio with Scott Ferguson with Financial Concepts, and we asked you, our viewers, to write in to give Scott some questions. And the topic is, how late is too late to start saving for retirement? How are you, my friend? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Are you ready to be put on the hot seat? Let's do it. All right. Well, I'm doing good, by the way. I'm doing good. Now, one of our viewers wrote in and said, we are all told from the onset of our careers that we need to start saving and investing for retirement right out of the gate. You've also said that as well. That's right. Um, but that doesn't always happen. Hello, that's me. So when is it too late to start planning and investing for retirement? It's never too late, right? You can always start saving and planning for that retirement future, but the later that we wait, Odds are the harder it's going to be, right? Because the more we're going to have to save to reach those goals. Yeah. So we preach to start early, but I know life happens, right? Yeah. You know, the, out of the gate, things may not go as planned. Life happens. We may be a little bit behind the eight ball, so to speak, when it comes to saving for retirement. You can always start, but you want to sit down as soon as you can and figure out, okay, where am I financially? What is my end retar retirement target date? And when do I want to reach that goal? Okay, I got you. All right, well, that sort of goes into this next one. Retirement can still be achieved even at a late age, which is what you were just saying, but it's going to be much harder to reach your goals due to the limited time. That's right. So the less time that you've got to work with means the more that you're going to have to save to build that nest egg up, right? So if you start saving right out of the gate when you're 22, 23, 24 years old, and you're not going to retire until you're 65, well, you've got 40 plus years to save for retirement. So you don't have to save as much each and every year, right? You can slowly chip away at it, right? Slow and steady wins the race. But say that we wait until we're in our mid 40s or even our mid 50s before we start saving for retirement. Oh my gosh. You can still reach those goals, but instead of saving small chunks, you're gonna have to save massive chunks, right? Yeah. So it's much harder. Double what you would have. That's right, much harder. It can be done, but it's gonna take a lot more discipline, a lot more you know, the ability to save, the ability to have that income to set it aside, mm. a lot more factors are going to play in place versus if we would have started earlier. All right. I want to get down to the nuts and bolts, everyone. How do you do it? How do you go about that? Well, you got you to figure out where you are, right? You know, where are you right now financially, right? Have you saved any for retirement? If you've got nothing set aside, okay, well, we got to really get going. Maybe we've saved some, but not enough. We need to jumpstart it, save more. Yeah. You need to work with a planner and say, this is where I am. This is when I want to retire. This is the income that I'm going to need in retirement. Well, what do I need to do to get there, right? Because a planner can say, oh, you're right here. This is where you want to be. We need to be saving X number of dollars each and every month between now and retirement to get you there. Okay. You, you see, you know, young people who are going to college and universities that are taking on enormous amounts of student debt. And sometimes they're still paying off that debt in their late 30s. That's right. Correct? Then they've got married. Then they've bought a mortgage there's nowhere near enough money to go around to start saving. What, what do you and, do? And, and that's what makes it hard, right? And that's why we preach, start as soon as you get out into the workforce, right? Because before you've added all those other things on, like marriage, like a mortgage, like children, like other added expenses, you build it in from the get-go so you've got it built into your budget. Now, it doesn't always happen, right? That's not the way that life goes. So it's much harder when you've got those added expenses because you've got to figure out where am I going to find any room in this budget to save, right? Mm. So then you got to look at how can I reduce my expenses or how can I make more money, right? Because those are the two solutions. I got you. If we're not making enough, we got to make more or if we've got wiggle room in there, what can we cut to start saving? I've got one question that I think is a really good one from one of our viewers. I'm over the age of 50. Are there some extra steps that I can take to save more for retirement? Yes. So, so once, you're, once, once you're over age 50, Uncle Sam, the IRS, gives you what's called catch-up contributions, where you can actually set more aside into your retirement plans than you could before you were over age 50. These catch-up contributions are there, so maybe we haven't saved enough. You can save some more in a tax-efficient manner. So it's a great way for folks who are over 50 to put more money into their 401ks, their IRAs, yep. all these retirement-saving vehicles in a tax-efficient manner. All right. We appreciate you. Perfect. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. If you want to find out more information about Scott Ferguson, the man that's going to help you retire with a lot of money in your pocket, there's all that information up on your screen. Back after this short break, everyone.